Hey everybody and welcome to another All About RVs video. It's Ray here again with Couches RV Nation. Going to take a few minutes to walk you around the outside and inside of this brand new 2019 and a half Forest River XLR Boost 20CB Toy Hauler Trailer. We'll take a few minutes to go through the outside and the inside. Um, we're going to start here on the rear side and we have a uh, party deck set up here. And wanted to kind of show you what that looks like in party deck mode. But the door will go all the way down to the ground so you can load your motorcycle or golf cart or something along those lines. Um, you can also get steps for them. And that actually has an opening there. You can see I left it open uh, where you could purchase steps that they come with and go down. Or you just leave the screen up and kind of protect yourself from falling off. Up top, it's pre-wired for backup camera. You also have a loading light up there. The deck is rated for 1,500 pounds when it's in deck mode. It's rated for 2,000 pounds when it's down in, in load mode. Stabilizer jacks on the back are the heavy-duty scissor jacks on this particular coach. Aluminum wheels. Now, we ordered this one in metal siding. You can opt in for fiberglass siding on the Boost if that does interest you. Deep tent safety glass windows. You have one of the vents up there and your stove exhaust vent over on the other side there. Six gallon gas electric water heater. Cable satellite and black tank flush. City water and uh, fresh water tank fills are here along with the fresh water tank drain down below, your furnace exhaust, refrigerator access panel for maintenance here, outside utility shower, hot and cold water, detachable 30 amp power cord on this particular unit. Um, you can opt in for 50 amp electric service if you want, that is an available option. This unit was ordered with the optional 4,000 watt Onan generator, which you're seeing right there, that green thing. You can also do a 5,500 watt Onan generator as an option with 50 amp service. Um, nice rolled front there. Two 20 pound gas tanks. Power tongue jack, lower diamond plate metal. This unit is sold. It's in the garage here getting ready for service and prepping and everything. They're going through it. Um, you can see a couple little brackets down here. This customer chose to go with an equalizer hitch, and that is what that bracket is. So it's not going to normally be there from the factory. Dry weight of this camper, 5,196 pounds the way it sits. Now, over here on the side of the camper, you're going to see your basic weight stickers. Uh, axles, 3,500 pounds a piece, plus you have hitch weight. Again, the whole weight of the camper does not sit on the axles. 205-75R15D range tires here, and they have 65 PSI. One thing to definitely keep in mind when you're loading these things or traveling with these things... Always check your tire pressure before your trips. Really important. A lot of times people let these things sit for you know a month or two and don't mess with them. You know, the tire pressure could get low, then they go throw all their gear in there, load it up, go rolling down the road, the tires aren't inflated properly, and then they have a blowout. So definitely make sure you check your tire pressure before each trip. Really important thing to do. Looking down the door side of the coach. There is a gas hookup down there for a portable grill if you wanted to do a portable grill there. There's also solar prep on the side for the Furion solar panels. Nice heavy duty step going in and out of the coach. Power awning with adjustable arms. The awning is not all the way out there, so that is does come out a little bit further. Um, spare tire mounted underneath the bottom of the camper down there. There's TV hookups outside here, two outdoor speakers. They kind of light up blue there, but it's kind of nice. They're down lower instead of being way up in the air where you got to turn them up loud to hear them. So it's kind of nice. They're down here. Electric outlet, again, TV hookup there. You have the 
fuel station. This thing has a gas tank on it so you could take fuel with you or also for the generator to run off of. And there's a gas pump right there too. That is standard on the unit. We're gonna take a minute and go up to the inside of the coach. You got the little grab handle here. You'll also find the model number of the unit you're looking at, usually located around the entry door too. You usually see weight stickers here on the campers also. So again, 5,196 pounds and a carrying capacity sticker here, 2,829 pounds. So that kind of tells you what you're doing there. Going into the coach, we have a gas and electric 8 cubic foot nor cold refrigerator. TV on this unit was ordered with it right up there. Cabinets overhead, you have your three burner stove top, convection microwave, some USB charger ports in the cabinet down there, little blue under lighting there, works on and off the switch, couple drawers. High-rise pull-out sprayer faucet there, matching sink cover. This unit was ordered with the Happy Jack bed system here that goes up and down and has the sofa dinette down here. Those sofas will flip over, make into a big bed, and then it has the little flip-over armrest there. Behind those black covers is actually the windows, but they have little blackout shades on them there. And you can see up top is the other bunk. I have it pinned up so I can walk in and out of here a little easier, but that is a bunk area there. Table is freestanding, so you can move this table out of the way if you want to. I'm going to walk out onto the party deck area here. Kind of looking back into the coach, you can see the rubber floor. That floor is also sloped a little bit, so it's easier to load the bike. Electric outlet on the side of the wall back there. Looking into the coach, the bed's up in the corner. Below the bed is a battery disconnect and a uh, electric box with your breakers and fuses and stuff there. There's room to put a small chair or, you know, little recliner if you want right there, but that would kind of be a little bit in the way if you're trying to load a big razor or golf cart or whatever you're trying to put in here. So kind of keep that in mind. There is room, though, for an extra chair if you need to. Little overhead cabinetry there. There is the bathroom sink and medicine cabinet outside of the main bathroom. They did that to try and make it feel a little bit bigger in here. Uh, without bringing the wall all the way out to hide it. That's the reason for that. Now, back in behind this door is your bathroom area. There is some shelving back there. You can kind of see it back there. Um, foot flush toilet, shower pan. Has the ABS shower wall, skylight up above, little fan up there to exhaust out the moisture and heat and everything. Electric outlet over there, window by the bed area, little closet area there. Quite a bit of room for a small toy hauler trailer. Uh, again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with the new units as they roll in and out of here. Toll free number. 888-417-8299, my direct extension 203. Again, Ray with Couches RV Nation. Be sure to check us out, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Thanks for checking out my video.